Hi there, Terry here sharing another process video for Bramble Fox um, this time using the Cozy Days Perspective from the November Fox Box along with a little uh, pink mug as well, it's got a heart on it so I'm using these papers from the Simple Stories um, Cozy Days collection I've ripped half a sheet of this pink diamond shaped patterned paper um, and I'm going to cut out some of the diamonds mm. so that I can then backfill those with that purple kind of plum coloured patterned paper. Um, so I'm just cutting out random diamond shapes at the moment, um, avoiding the top area where um, I'm going to put my photo um, with that lovely chipboard frame um, that's from Simple Stories as well. So I'm just using a craft knife um, and a metal ruler just to simply cut out the diamond shapes dead easy. I'm not thinking too much about exactly where they're going. Um, I just don't want them too near to some of the edges. So I'm just showing where I'm uh, putting my frame and decide to cut an extra one at the top so uh, there's a few more peeking out. So I've pulled out this beautiful plum paper um, I'm just going to cut some small pieces um, to be able to backfill the holes with. Um, I'm going to pop them up on foam pads so that it adds some dimension to the layout. So because they're not all in strips, I've cut out rectangles of the patterned paper to go over where the diamonds are. Um, I'm being a bit frugal with the paper. If you wanted to, you could have just backed the half um, sheet, pat sheet of patterned paper with another half um, that you've just cut out, but I wanted to use that purple for other um, layouts. And if you've watched my project life process video you'll see that I do actually use that uh, plum and kind of tartan checker paper as part of my project life for this month. So I'm just adding some glue and then I'm going to stick that to this white cardstock and that creates kind of the main area for decoration. I'm just tucking my photos in to that lovely uh, frame. and deciding where I want to put it. So, I decide, so I've decided I want to put some patterned paper behind it um, and again because I'm being uh, frugal I decide to uh, distress the edges and then cut them in half so that I can use both sides of the patterned paper um, but I don't have to uh, have big pieces as you can see when I stick it down. So I'm all for getting more out of my supplies and this is a great way of doing it. So I want to add a bit of decoration to the bottom right hand side and um, so I've just ripped an area of cardstock out and backed it with that plum um, and I'm just adding some bits of embellishment. So I've cut out one of these tags which is from a cut apart sheet from the Simple Stories Cozy Days collection and it's the one that has the little have a cozy day um, letter and envelope so I'm going to use the top of the tag there and I've just added some twine and I'm fussy cutting the envelope a little saying out so that I can tuck it in amongst the uh, top of the photo there. So I've pulled out my title which is this cozy days perspective um, it, it's that beautiful plum colour um, but because the chipboard frame also said cozy days and I've got cozy day in the little envelope at the top I decided to cover up the one on the chipboard frame as I thought it was a bit too too much um, and it is also in the American spelling with the Z which um, I don't mind in a small place but not ideal for larger areas um, so I've put a fishtail kind of tag piece over that and then I've pulled another piece out and cut that for the bottom of where my title is. So I'm just adding in some stickers, some chipboard um, 
pieces just tucked in and around that frame I've popped a mug which was um, from the sticker sheet and I've put those on foam pads and put that over where the floral is and where the edge of that fishtail tag is so it looks a bit neater and like it's meant to be there so because it's all about hot chocolate this layout um, I've added lots of mugs in and around uh, my layout so to coordinate with the twine that I've got running through the tag at the top I've just added a little bit tied around the sea of cosy days I just like how it kind of coordinates both both areas so I wanted to make the di diamonds stand out a bit more so I've gone round with a white Posca pen and done kind of a faux stitching this would have been much easier to have done um, before I decided to stick everything down but uh, you know these things come to you at the end um, and I've also run it through my sewing machine and you can see that there's now stitching along the white area of um, cardstock the edge so still just going in with a few more small embellishments a few hearts here and there these beautiful gold puffy hearts from Jen Hadfield and some of the heart stickers uh, from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet from the Simple Stories collection also and just finishing off with some Nouveau drops in like a pale pink just to add a different texture um, and some small details thanks for joining me on YouTube today um, there's more process videos on the Bramble Fox channel so check them out I will leave links below to the Bramble Fox social media and to mine but thanks again for joining me